Yo, this is your man, LaVon. Just want to come on, man, and share with you guys uh, my experience yesterday. You know, I had came on and I was sharing with everyone that I was down at Lake Merritt, you know, <clears throat> just uh, selling my, my, my shirt and repping my brand. But wouldn't you know it that um, right as we started to tear down, because we were getting ready to go, it was... You know, it was getting in the evening. Everyone was still partying. It was still going strong. The music was loud. Everybody was walking around. But we decided about, you know, 5.30 to start tearing down, right? So me and my dad start tearing down and loading everything back into, you know, our totes and, you know, things like that, right? Tearing the, the canopy down. I had two canopies. So after we got the first canopy tore down, a gang of people started running. They were just rushing us. You know what I'm saying? And we was like, what's going on? I kind of figured when I saw people running, like, okay, most of the time when black folks start running, it's because somebody is acting stupid, right? So I said, Pop, don't look, don't, don't stop what you're doing. Just keep working. Stay next to me, but just keep working, right? Just keep working. Don't stop what you're doing. You know, the anointing was with us. I knew that. So I was like, don't worry about, don't get distracted with that, Pop. Let's just keep tearing down and let's keep working so we can get ready to get out of here, right? So... If you haven't done already, please make sure that you like this video, share this video with your family and friends, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification so you're always notified whenever I upload a video, you dig? So as we continue to tear down things, you know, people are still running all through our stuff, but we're trying to still tear down and stay focused. And once we got the second tent tore down and we got everything by the sidewalk, right? another wave a bigger wave of folks come rushing and running and we're like you know they're like man somebody said they're shooting down there and so i was like okay pop i need to fight through this crowd to go get my car stay right here let me go get the car so i go get the car now i'm only about 200 feet from the corner right so i pull out i got a green light so i'm getting ready to go but everybody's running across so i can't get through so, and the light is still green. I'm, I'm kind of inching, inching, inching. I'm right at the, the intersection. I'm inching through because nobody's, it's kind of cleared up, right? And the guy I see I'm trying to get through, so he's staying there. But the lady on this side, as she's passing my car and I'm inching through, she looks back. I, I don't know, maybe she was looking for somebody else. And she sees me inching. She starts yelling and screaming, don't you see I'm in the, in the crosswalk? <laughs> and so, in my flesh, I yelled back and said, don't you see I got the light? I got the light. You're in my way. I'm trying to get through. She started with her fist beating on my windshield like she was trying to break my windshield and was going to, I had fear she was going to try to knock off my side mirror. At that point, I had one or two choices of what to do. You did? Choice number one. I could have jumped out the car and went ham. Are you crazy? What's wrong with you? Beat on my, don't you? I could have did all of that, right? But then with everyone running, it had just been a big commotion. My car got surrounded. It has been all bad. You know, police is already out there. So option number two, I peeled off. Uh, peeled off down, down the block. You know what I'm saying? Let me go down the block. I know it's traffic. I'm going to go down the block. I'll bust a Yui. If I got a bow guard, whatever I gotta do, I'm busting you and get back so I can load my car so I can get out and be gone. So go down the block, bust a U-turn, right? Come back, load my car. People still running. I'm loading my car up, get my stuff loaded. And once I get my stuff loaded, give my dad a hug. We pray real quick. Give him a kiss. Thank you, Pop. Be safe. Make sure when you walk down that way, because he had, he, had, he had to walk towards the incident, right? Because he was parked on the other side. And the police had the road blocked off and everything, you know, so I said, you know, pop, walk on the left side of the road, get to where you need to get to when you get the freeway, cross over and then get out of here. So said goodbye, got in my car. Now I'm blocked in. I can't, I can't leave. Right. So I got to sit and wait till the guys finish loading his truck. I mean, his car, he loads his car up. He pulls out. I pull out. Well, when I pull out, there's a, there's a truck, a big rig going right in the way so i was like thank you jesus i went behind the big rig and was out 
I know I was right there by the freeway. I know I, but they had all that block. You know, the police had all that block. It was people walking everywhere. It was, there was no way you were getting down that way. So I said, let me go back down through <laughs> downtown Oakland. I'll go the long way around. It's cool. I, long as I'm out and I'm gone. So God was with me and my dad. He was with us. On one side of us, we had the weed man and, and he was selling weed and selling alcohol. And on the other side of us, we had this young cat from L.A. And he was must have been well known because all the young girls and teeny boppers, they all wanted to stop and was Google eyes and want to take pictures and all that. So we stuck in the middle. Now, just imagine if I would have stayed and just, you know, kept out there and not tear down, break out. And then this happened. Can you imagine trying to get out of there, trying to first break down with people running? And then trying to get out of there, you can't get through because everywhere's there. You can't get no cars and the police got the road blocked. And I just thank God. <laughs> I thank God that he directed me and my dad and had us break down when we did so we could get out of there. That was nothing but God, y'all. I'm telling you. And then by the time I got home, you know, it was late and, and, and I finally, you know, kind of caught the news. They said one person had been shot and four people have been injured and where this happened had to be, it had to have been like 500 yards from where we were at we were right there and god made a way and got us out of there you dig won't he do it yes he will <laughs> hallelujah yes he did so i'm just here kind of giving a little testimony about what went down yesterday at juneteenth in oakland at lake Merritt. it was cool it was nice until one person, you only take one, and then it all went bad. But in the midst of all of that was going on, God was still directing my path and still leading me and guiding me. You dig? And I got out of there, out of there, and I was glad I got out of there. In one piece, in health, with all my stuff, hit <laughs> my car was still intact, and I was on my way home. You know, so just want to share that with y'all, man. And uh, I think that'll probably be my last time going out to Lake Merritt to set up shop. I might go back to visit, <laughs> but I'm definitely ain't going down there trying to set up shop to sell nothing because it only takes one bad experience for me to learn my lesson. And that was a very bad experience. Even though God directed us and we got out safely, the experience wasn't a good one. You dig? And uh, I don't need to put myself back in that kind of situation again. So anyway, this is your man, LeVon. This has been... Your, 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 your small, short, quick testimony about what happened with me on Juneteenth in Oakland, California at Lake Merritt. You dig? I just want to share that with y'all. Please remember, like this video, share this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you're always notified upon my next video upload. And I upload every day, Monday through Friday. You dig? This is your man, LaVon. One love. I'm out. Lamelle E. Love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. LaMelia.com. Man, Levon, I'm gone.